Well, welcome back, where something has just went on sale, apparently. Um, let's see, what do we got? Better be something from one of our people. Gossam, a thick potion. Eh. Nothing too important. So, where were we? It's just, I, I've not been given this... Didn't I already beat this thing? Am I going to have to beat it again? I'm going to continue the event. Maybe I probably have to beat it, unless I didn't beat it last time. Even though I thought that I did. <laughs> well, <clears throat> either way, it's been a while since I've played, obviously. I don't even remember where we're at. I haven't been given this series or um, tales the attention that they deserve, but it's going to continue to be that way for quite some time, I think. Okay, you big crystalline bastard. Quit ice skating around and just die. One of Nell's attacks is supposed to do a decent amount of damage to him. But the difficulty is getting him to stand still. Long enough to actually hit him with it. Oh, you're gonna juggle me? Okay. I am best to just, of course, stand back and heal things. I don't know if I got any attacks off while I was up there trying to attack earlier. Um, guess we'll heal fate. Every time you use a skill or a magic spell, you gain a little bit of experience with that um, skill as well. So you'll continue to level them up. That doesn't do anything. What is it, the sharp, this shockwave? Shadow wave, there we go. I need to get that on like a 200% cancel here. Come on. Okay. I'm gonna let him charge and then we're gonna try to go wind up. Maybe not, let's go for it. There we go. Got him. Okay. Did I kill this guy last time? Kind of doubting it now. I might leave the room and come back just to test it again. I don't know. I'm curious now. Does he come back? Did I load the wrong save? I've not been yet. Took too long of a break. There we go. Or maybe I put off the boss fight and said I'd do it whenever we came back. That might be what happened. Now that was some good experience. Uh, do I want to leave? See, I think last time I beat him, then saved it, and... I'm almost, yeah, you know what, forget it. I'm almost sure that's what happened. So I'm not going to test again. Wait a second. Is there anything funky about these walls? Um... Okay. Hmm, how much money did that take? We have 94,000 full. I'm not sure if we're actually making a profit yet. Tacky earrings. And blue cheese. A whole block of cheese that owes its distinctive appearance and flavor to penicillin roqueforte. Forte? Mold. Nasty, stinky mold. Isn't blue cheese wonderful? Okay, so this place is a nightmare. And we're just going to run around. Let's try to map it out, I guess. Some of the levels down here are... Um, I think there's like three or four floors down here. I don't want to fight you. There we go. What are these? Coming out of the walls traps of something? Looks like spikes, actually. Something big came through here. Oh, man. Oh, crap. Another earthquake? Well, at least we went straight to the earthquake room. Okay, where are the rocks at? It stopped. They must be up to something. Are the rocks gonna fall and make me have to stand around and wait? 
for the event to start again. Nobody wants the berries, okay? Even the people who stole from these chests know that the berries are completely worthless. There's no reason at all to even have them in down here. Hey! Some more blackberries. What are these? What's this one right here? Please, more berries? Cookie ingredients. Too bad that is the stuff I already stocked up on. I see you. Wow, five hammers, I swear. If I have to run back out to buy hammers, I'm just going to do it off screen. I will... Oh, why did I do that? Gosh, dang it. Okay, good, never mind. I accidentally pressed select. How do I cancel? Square, good lord. Select was retry. I've been pressing the wrong buttons in all of the games. It seems like. Gave away a whole bunch of mugs and Dwarf Fortress. I'm sure if one of those things hits you, they'll knock you out. Ooh. An Orb of Foe Finding. Is that a permanent item? Widens enemy detection range on the minimap. A large orb made of citrine. Interesting. I'm sure that actually somebody has to equip it. And another chest. However, it looks like I need the Ring of Disintegration to get back there. I may get some of the stuff in the chests that are hidden behind Ring of Disintegration walls like that. But if I do, that'll probably also be off screen. Because that's a whole bunch of running around to places that I've already been. What, is this door locked or something? I guess so. So this is just a... Just a secret treasure room? No, it's a, it's a loop around is what it is. Maybe. So... I guess what we want to look for here... Are you really going to chase me over here? I guess what I need to be looking for is more cracked walls. Oh well. I knew he was going to be fighting eventually. Does this hurt these guys at all? Oh yeah. Wow. Just pushes him around. Don't worry boys, you take care of that one. Nasty looking attack there. And I must be running right into that attack. For a second, I thought that maybe his defense shield was up. Anybody else need topped off? Um, maybe Cliff. They're probably not being hurt by the monsters at all. It's all their special abilities that they're using. Shotgun blast and all that stuff. There we go. See, whenever you let Nell attack, she can lay down some damage. Oh, there we go. Ginsu. Oh, good job. Skill points. Tons of them. Even though it takes like 500 skill points or something to level up the one, the abilities that I want to level up. Um, so what is it? Okay, not 500, but like 120. I have 37. We could give him 100 more hit points that he doesn't really need. Attack and defense, no. Cliff's got 63. We could give him 500 more hit points, but he doesn't need that. Wow, Maria has a ton of points. I'm not going to spend any of them, though. Not yet. Okay, any walls around here? No. I don't want to have to go back through there. Excuse me, we're on a mission here. Oh, boy. Getting mobbed everywhere that we go. This door? Yeah, that's the loop around. 
There's another wall to fall. Um, well, there's got to be a better angle on it than that. There we go. Oh, boy. If this battle reset that wall... So if that wall didn't completely fall down because this battle started, I'm going to scream right at the game. What? Whoops. What are you doing now? No. You can't fight. These guys put on one put up one hell of a fight, honestly. For being as weak as they are. Now imagine this is the easiest difficulty too. The game gets much much harder on universe difficulty. And then I think there's Galaxy or something like that. I don't remember the difficulty names, but... Come on. They get a bit overboard in their difficulty. If you like grinding and challenges, I guess they'd be for you. Good. Um, real quick. Just heal everyone here. Cliff already almost already has this halfway to 10,000 hit points. I don't know what the maximum hit points are. Do we have to fight you guys? Probably. What? A trap? Well, at least that guy was there to take pictures of it and laugh at us. Nope. Juke and jive. Again, that's one thing I think this game did exceptionally well. Being able to avoid enemies. If this game had random battles, I certainly would not be playing it. <clears throat> With as long as the fights are. Okay. We're going back up here? See, this place is huge. I'm not even sure... I think this might just be the first map. Something like two more after this, I think. Excuse me. Hey, berries! Just what I needed. Oh, alchemy materials. Actually, I will take that. Dang it. Oh, blue. Who cares? Should instantly just be able to crush these things. I think I can juggle these ones before they can even get an attack. Oh, maybe not. What? They have a healer in the group? Not anymore. Okay, this is more like it. <laughs> See, later on, I think there are enemies that are immune to being knocked down. I mean, it's much more, it's much less likely, I think. So you can, combat really picks up if my memory serves me. Which it might not. Is that, yeah, that does do MP damage. Okay, that guy has to be dealt with. Nell's about ready to die from an MP death. Alright, giggity giggity. I'll have to use some berries here. Should have plenty of them. Actually, wait, I do have some food. 30% hit points and MP. There we go, why not? I'm gonna save that shake through the entire game, though. You're gonna... Ugh. Okay, good. Somehow we ducked under his swords there. I'll take it. Oh, blackberries. I could probably use some blackberries and then loot that, but... I'd rather just let them set in the chest. I don't want them, want them to think that they're needed. They're not needed. They can stay down here. There we go. Yes! A huge group of enemies. Well, first... To be useful, the attack has to be able to reach them. It helps if they have legs. Uh-huh. 
Stand back up and fight like a suit of armor. That was good. Defensive. Quit draining our MP. Do I have any attacks that will drain MP from them? No. In fact, I have a pitiful amount of magic. Runeology, my bad. Gonna have to read more books, apparently. Only a, th only a thousand more battles at that rate to level up. Okay, good. I think we're done here. All of that for this little room. Any cracks? No. Wait a second. Okay, whoops. Oh no, that means those guys, those monsters are gonna be back. It doesn't matter. Because I just have to run straight across. Oh, another thing. What? There is no way it is that simple. No. I'm pretty sure I have to fight that thing. It probably drops an item that I need. If I, if I had to guess. If it doesn't drop anything, I'll be surprised. Come on now. Put some speed into it. Your wind-up takes forever. You're telepathic. It can read right into you. I should take over for Cliff, maybe. No, I know what I'll do. Just thought of this. I'm gonna change Nell's attack. She has an extremely effective long-range attack. And not, for some reason, I'm trying to turn her into a close-range fighter. That doesn't really work. Unless, you wanna, unless you're good at doing hit-and-run stuff. Which doesn't really work on this guy. That's his job. There we go. 16 full, we're rich! He better have dropped... He dropped an... Okay, so we can avoid those guys. Actually, no, because it, if I do avoid them, what'll happen is they'll be required to open a gate somewhere. Something ridiculous like that. Okay. Side rooms or straightforward? Okay, well, let's check the other areas then, now that we know what's right there. I better be able to go back out through that door. Okay. Excuse us. Coming through. A lot of rooms over here. Hmm. There's something on one of these things. There has to be something in here. Can I examine this or something? Examine this one isn't there is not the same. They're both different. Can I do I have to push them? Is it nothing? Okay, I guess it's nothing for now. We'll probably have to come back here later. I find it very strange that they would have a completely empty room like that. Wow. <coughs> I just stood there and let them come after us. Get them! Nope, no. Not even whenever you get the jump on them. It's okay. I wouldn't expect anything else from our lovely, lovely now. Except I didn't change her attack. I'm busy trying to think about where the hell we're supposed to be going. Now. 
Okay, that move is completely worthless. This one... Great for getting stunned. Save me, Cliff! Somebody... At least that thing took all day to mosey on over. There we go. It's all yours. Um... I think I just ran face first into fate there. Oh good, one of them's dead. And now two of them. Not really. Don't much care for these fights. Again, this is my least favorite part of the game. By far. Okay, so there will probably be what? A broken wall in here later? Right. No, not right there. Huh. Oh well, another dead end room. Is there nothing down there? So this first door down here was the right way. You know what? Just run! Okay, kick him all in the face while now runs and hides. Good distraction. I always suggest running. Why not? Did I wait? I checked this place. No, I didn't check it earlier. Hmm. Do I have to push these or something? I mean, I really feel like I'm supposed to be doing something with these things. Okay. What's on sale? Better be something blue cheese and another tacky earring. Good job, gang. I just some um, awesome inventing. Okay, so we've got this whole side mapped out over here. The other side better be a little bit more productive because these rooms were a complete waste of time. They didn't even have treasure chests in them. Just turn around. This is metal. This is fate gear solid. Runology gear solid right here. I'm gonna sneak up on all the guards and insta kill them. Yeah, see, these rooms have got to be used for something then. I guess they'll have us probably come back through here later on. I love backtracking. It's my favorite thing in the world. No! Let me run. Okay, so we have two cups in here. Good lord. You know what? We will kill these things because they should be extremely easy. Okay, maybe they won't be extremely easy. Good lord. That was nasty. They heard me mouthing them. The only good thing is they don't have very many hit points. Okay, Cliff. You're next in danger. Are they saying hee-haw? How do you like my hee-haw? Kill him, quick. There we go. Yeah. They fold. As soon as the attack starts, they shut down and fold. No. I refuse to fight another batch of you. Okay. So... Hmm, there better be something in here. Nope, apparently I should have just kept running straight. At that junction, instead of going off exploring. Nice little reflection pool there. Okay, so... Right through here. See that perfect execution right there? He didn't even see us. So smooth. 
Now, can I sneak by you? Yes. I'm going to kill them anyways. Why? Because we can. Yeah, good job now. You can fly. Congratulations. No damage. And I still did not change her attack. I'm not going to remember after this fight either. Come on. Box him in! Or let him out. We need someone to have a shield and just block him in there. One person to be on the defense and form the wall. And the rest of us will attack. Let's, there we go. So close. He just had a sliver of life left after that last combo. Okay, so there's two down. And I'm going to remember this time. Change the attack. Let's see. Shockwave, Whirlwind... Level 4, level 3, 3. Shadow Wave. I think it's Shock Wave that I don't like, so. We have Poison Cloud. Whirlwind Ice Daggers. The Flying Guillotine. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna remove Stun because I'm not really using it. And I want to see what Flying Guillotine is like. Why not? Cliff. Electric Fists. Shotgun Blast. Critical Hit. Man, he is really abusing that Shotgun Blast attack. And Blade of Fury. Damn. Okay. Anybody need healed? I better heal everybody. While we're here. And let's use some of those berries, because why not? It's about time. Um, hit points, poison, MP, there we go. Cliff doesn't use any MP at all. That's just a backup life bar for him. I'm really tempted just to look at my guide and see where we need to go, but I'm not sure that there is just one place to go. It says, hold thy head high and prove thyself. What? Oh god, I didn't know I was going to have to split my group up here. I didn't know. I didn't want to check out that statue. There's probably a save point. Can I back up? Okay, so leftmost room... I'm going to die here and revert all the way back to the save point, and then probably going to end the video, and then I'll have to get back here off screen. Okay, top leftmost room, Cliff. Second room, Nell. Third room's Fate. Mirage. Wait, don't go into the rooms. Good. Is there a save point around here somewhere? I mean, I've come an awful long ways since the last one. What is up with this place? Hmm. What are you? Yeah, I, I don't... Oh, crap. I don't want Roger and... Uh, Maria. Or Mirage, whatever. Maria. I don't want them to get split up, because they are incredibly weak. I have not leveled them up at all. Okay, is this statue anything? No. It's a good block, though. Is this a trap door? No. So that one room where we were going to split up the party, that could have been a bonus area. Just like an extra challenge, maybe? Hey, wait a second. What do we have here? It says, send in a fool to touch the red gem. I'm, I don't want to send in any fools. We could send fate. The ever-searching one shall be victorious. 
This is just like a... An area filled with puzzles. Oh, great. Hmm. What? Is this... What, is something supposed to be going on in here? I mean... Okay, it actually looks like maybe these blocks... Some of them... Do they actually block anything? Hmm. Celestial Pixie. I don't know if I've found one of those before. Shoots balls of light when attacking. Guess we can plant that little pixie in our weapon, huh? I don't know when I'll get around to doing that. that some of these things you probably won't ever see me use. 54,000 full. Yes. Amazing. And for some reason, this game just makes me lose my voice. I don't know what it is. I don't see anything back there. I think these... I thought these blocks were supposed to be moving. Compounding elixirs. Too bad no one else can put one in... Put it in their pocket. Really? Is this whole room gonna be compounding elixirs? Alchemy. Smithery. Hmm. That's one solid door. It's locked tight and won't budge. Okay, well. Maybe that's another loop around that we'll bump into later. I'm gonna continue just to try and map out the rest of this maze here. I've already been up here, I think. I want to make sure I don't miss any treasure chests. Because 54,000 full in that one. Um, wait a second. I think I'm still missing a part. Down along here, actually. Okay. Where's the red gem that this was talking about, too? Any type of gem has to be a good one. Back here, maybe? No. Well, the only good news is, is that if we do have to come back through here, which I think we will... I'll at least already have it mapped out. <coughs> so I can try and path around the blocks, because I'm almost positive that they move around at some point, and if they touch you, you have to start the whole thing over again. Yay! Okay. Bye-bye. These guys don't seem to be too alert, to be honest. Those Vendini fellow. This place is massive. I hate this place. Well, this must be the red gem. Touch gem, why not? It's so shiny. Oh boy. Told you not to lick it. You were supposed to just touch it. It stopped. What caused the tremor? The gem started spinning as well. Um, pretty good chance that probably made those blocks start to move and unlocked that door. If I just had to guess, that's probably what did it. Um, is this way a complete dead end? And I'm running. 
I think Nell was talking in tongues there. Oh, yay, some berries, right? No. Almost, no, in fact, even more worthless cooking ingredients. And, and running away twice is still quicker than fighting. Knock him to the moon! Break, break down. Break down, Cliff. He just wanted to dance is all. Okay. Is this more cooking ingredients? No, this time it's berries. Yay. All of these pointless chests probably add about three hours to the length of the game by the time you get to the end of it. Dead ends, worthless berries. Yep, the blocks move. Okay. So, let's use my already mapped out GPS here to just get through here quickly. At least I can remove some of the tedium of this. Oh wow, this one's going to be hard. Round and round we go. Shit, there's some blocks. Um, apparently I didn't map it all out. Are you going to come down this way? Yes, you jerk. Double jerk. Let's see, what's over here? Is there anything here? Oh boy. Excuse me. I'm a friendly person. Don't. You, you don't want to do that. Oh boy. Please don't kill me. That was a really scary sound, like it was going to say game over. Um, I can see the game doing that. After three hours in the dungeon with no save point, deal with it. Um, so maybe I should just run up through here. I need to be quick about it. Stop. There we go. I say stop thinking about it and just run. And it did open the door. Good deal. And a save point. However, instead of saving the game here and then ending the video. I think I'm going to stretch this video out. I could, you know, make this into two videos and have multiple uploads, but I think I'll probably just have one long video and then another few days or a week off. This game's going to... I'm going to be playing this game for a long time, folks, so... Who cares about length? Um, let's see. Continue event? Yeah. Maybe this will be a two-hour long video. I don't know. Don't care. This is the entrance to the inner sanctum where the sacred orb is said to be enshrined. So, that means the Vendini are there too. Sneaky bastards. Most likely. Is everyone ready then? I guess we have to be. Cause there's no turning back now. Don't slam the door! Trying to meditate in here. Get away from the ore. Or what? Strike a pose? Anybody? Line? Someone here? Come on, tapes rolling. Well, anytime you're ready. Do I need to cut? Took you long enough. Huh? Isn't that the line, God boy? Good lord. Somebody read it to him. I think it is. How lucky for us. And we thought we were taking a detour to check out this OPA. We got us two birds with one stone. Lucky day, huh? Get your hands off our most sacred treasure. Get your hands off our orbs. That is not an option. Did you really think we'd abandon an OPA of this power so easily? The OPA and the boy are ours. All it does is help us flush our toilets. It's not that powerful. Not gonna happen. 2,000 flushes. Just insert it here and the whole kingdom is clean. 
You got a little too greedy. Let's get him. Give him a swirly. Mmm, this isn't good. In fact, this is real bad. I think I crashed. Well, dang it, at least we saved right there. And take. You got a little too greedy. That's right, you tell him. Kick him where it counts. Hello, fish faces. Here we go, guys. Kick him in the gills. I am ready to actually see what this flying guillotine looks like. Let's see, come on, flying. There we go. I, I should put that, wow, I should probably put that on a long range attack. Holy crap, focus fire. Uh, what? Are they, they're petrified, no way. These guys have petrification attacks, lavender, freezing, um, what is it, sage? Yeah, petrification, that's crazy. Wait, or is that poison? No? It's not poison. Okay. These guys? Oh, maybe I shouldn't make fun of Fish Face. Um, let's see, what can I use on them? Maybe they're weak to... Maybe they're weak to lightning. Come on. Really? Wow, that was actually pretty good. I approve of that. Spam that. There we go. It could do more damage, but I'll take it. I think we killed one of them, too. And crap. She's paralyzed. That attack is just vicious. Quick, bring Nell back. No, Nell. Do not go forward. Do not pass go. Do not go attack. Um, I think I better have her heal herself. Or not. They have a mean bite, but... Or a mean shot, but... Yeah. Ooh, scan enemy. Thunder flare. Thunder flare. I kind of like scan enemy, too. So this is it, huh? Well, this energy does possess a waveform that's never been observed before. As we thought, its power clearly exceeds anything that should be on this planet. So it really is an OPA. That's the only possible conclusion. No wonder it's a holy relic. I'm just relieved that it's safe. This will save Her Majesty considerable grief. Is it safe? I mean, they still do have the battleship out there. Couldn't they just blast this place to smithereens? Or your queen? Let's get back to Aquios and let the queen know that the sacred orb is safe. Or does this mean that we can actually hijack their battleship now? I'd... What's this mean? Right. Let's go. We only killed like a dozen of them while we were here. The sacred orb is safe. No treasure? I was expecting at least one treasure chest. Game, if you make me run all the way back through the dungeon, I will be so angry at you. I think it's going to make me run all the way back. Holy crap. Punch this game right where it counts if it does. Okay, I think everybody's decently healed up. I'm not interested in Nell's new attacks. Even though I, it is... This game sucks sometimes. Um, let's see. Skill setup. I wanted to put... Actually... We'll put Whirlwind on the short attack. On the long attack, it can be Ice Daggers. I don't even care about Shadow Wave. And Flying Guillotine. There we go. That is a much better setup for me. Wait, do I have any items? Now that I'm thinking about it, any items that can get me out of a dungeon? I don't think this game does things like that. 
Worm eaten tome. No. Jewel of Refuge. No. Oh boy, okay. So. I think if I get hit by these things here, it won't take me back to the very beginning. It won't take me here. That's what I'm trying to say. It'll take me to the door I came out of. I think. I'm gonna find out. That's just creepy. Yep. Okay. Really? Oh, come on now. Don't you think that's just a bit too much? Coming through. Okay, so... Squeezed past that jerk. Now... Gotta make it. I don't think there's anything in our way. Now the question is, which way do I go? Do I want to keep exploring? Good lord. I don't remember the way out of here. I don't think it's that way. It's gotta be this way. Is there a shortcut somewhere? I'm probably forgetting something in this dungeon, too. There's, There's gotta be more than that. I'm not gonna do that test, though, where I split my team up. Is it down through there? It must be. Yeah, I don't know what that special event is on the statue where you split your team up, but forget it. All of these rooms? It's locked. No way to open it. Oh well. I'm sure there's some really amazing, super duper awesome treasure in there that's like... Probably berries, honestly. Probably just a bunch of berry chests. No, thank you. Ooh, are these crystal things gonna be gone too? Good. We're free! We're free of this place, right? Now see, is there any reason to make me run back through all of this? There's not even any monsters. It kind of makes me think I missed something. Um, really? There's stuff over here? I'm going to explore around a little bit more. Um, is that thing going to start moving down the hallway at me? No. I guess this is a good time to explore. That's how there's no monsters, huh? What's this? It's locked and won't budge. Another loop around. Who would have seen that one coming? Not me, because I didn't have it on my map. Okay, that is the bomb chest. That apparently resets so that they can keep fucking with you. segment. I hear this. What is it? It looks like a switch, but it's completely broken. This must be their doing. It's locked and doesn't look like it'll budge, so there's no way to open it, huh? Hmm. I wonder if there is a way to open it. Maybe if you have somebody in your group. Maybe if I put Roger in my group or something like that. I'm not sure it would be worth it, though. Okay, another save point. I will save it. However, I'm not going to end this video until we're out of here. And then hopefully this will be the last Shrine of Kadan video, and we can move on to bigger and better places, and more horrifying dungeons than this one. Okay, this way... I think this is also maybe the only one you actually they actually force you to run out of. No. I think I want to go to the left and then all the way down. Yeah, 
This looks familiar. It's been like two weeks since I started this place. But I remember this. There we go. There's our event. You couldn't just teleport us here, game. F you. F you. Everyone, please allow me to thank you. Okay. Huh? Just go with it. Thanks to you, the sacred orb is safe. Is it? The Vendini do know about it. I mean, just trying to be realistic There's here. No need to thank us. Who's to say they won't return? Well, anybody? It's really our fault to begin with. No, no, it's not. They never would have known about the sacred orb if we hadn't come here. More self pity. You're wrong. You're just damn right, you're wrong. They came here of their own accord. Finally, some common sense. No fault lies with you. No. Quit trying to get pity sympathy, you pussy. I gathered from what you were saying before that there are many worlds like our own. That's right. And the sacred orb is an exceedingly rare object, an OPA, you said, correct? Correct. At least there's no record of anything like the sacred orb in the Federation's database. Hmm. That means most likely someone would have come here seeking its power sooner or later. It just so happens that time is now. You have nothing to apologize for. No. Well, she's just being honest. Glad somebody can see the truth. All right, time to go. I agree. Oh, yeah. Let's get back to Aquios. Right. Okay. So, how far do we have to run through this nightmarish hellhole of a dungeon? I hate this place. Oh, Mr. Chocolate Crunch. Is this the right way? Yes. Another save point. I am not going to use it. And I will probably regret not using it. Um, okay. Wait, how do I get through here again? Is this the right way? Yes. Hmm. It's got to be down. Oh, yeah, these blocks. Good time to take a drink, get a take a smoke, grab a bite to eat, something. Go do your laundry. Change the baby's diaper. Check out some stock quotes. Watch an LP or two. Fall asleep, take a nap, and then finally wake up. Okay. Yay, we're free, almost. Are you anything yet, statue? Little things like that in those rooms always make me wonder what they're trying to hide. There's a secret switch on them or something. The secret passage. I think this is what they wanted you to do. They were so proud of this that they wanted to force you to run through it all. Just so you could have the beauty of running through this tunnel again. It's a bunch of statues with women wearing towels, as if they'd just gotten out of the shower, it looked like. How do I get out? An entry. That, um... I do want to know, who is the inventor? Who? Who's the new person? New, new, new. I don't know where to. Ch new, there we go. Misty Lear, seductively attractive woman who does not reveal her age, has been divorced and recently suffered the death of her two year old daughter. One must wonder what goes through her mind as she sinks into the depths of sorrow during her alchemy work. Also, well versed in symbology and skilled in the art of imbuing stones with symbol magic. Okay. Leas, young, talented blacksmith who confronts steel and flames with knowledge and logic, despite his lack of strength and experience. 
other blacksmiths disparage his unconventional techniques but his products surpass all others a harsh critic might rightly say that his work lacks in originality what it possesses in quality maybe we can find him and make some really good armor items and weapons professes to be the most brilliant scientist in all the lands and calls himself the invention king however everything he invents are nothing more than extreme curiosities he probably could produce genius level work if only he had a good assistant jejison dejison whatever crazy old man who maybe we will recruit someday okay last stop before i end the video is the queen I want to see what the queen has to say I won't make you all wait Cause it could be a week or so who knows too busy working on my own Japanese RPG styled game I don't have time to play these this is where we're supposed to go right yeah good It is unfortunate that thieves were allowed to enter Kadim, but at least the sacred orb is safe. Little bit. Mm, never mind. Thank you for your hard work, all of you. We couldn't have done it without their help. Well, that's why I said all of you now. All right. So what do we do next? Can we get off this They're rock? Intensifying their attacks. If we leave, they'll be left alone, right? And now that we have defeated them at Kadan, they have even more reason to attack this country. Oh, right. And the OPA that they know it about. It appear that the only option remaining is to work together to drive off the Vendini. Yes, agreed. But how will we do it? The only weapon that might help isn't completed yet, and it doesn't have the range. What's the point of an attack that can't hit its target? And I am still completely skeptical that this weapon will be able to damage a battleship. That's a good question. It was made by farmers. Even if we hurry up and finish the weapon, there's no way to make it achieve the range we need. We shall request cooperation from Erigo. What are you smoking, Queen? I beg your pardon? Your Majesty? If you had the means to carry the weapon into the sky, Range would no longer be an issue, correct? Eriglet has this ability. All we need to do is borrow it. Borrow? From Eriglyph? A means for carrying. The air dragons. No! Correct. Yes, but will they cooperate? Even if they approve our request, how are we to be sure that they will not betray us? How are you sure they'll even believe us? We do not believe this will happen. It's going to be a pretty far-fetched story for them to believe. The Vendini attack also dealt a great deal of damage to their country. Of this we are sure. They cannot afford to worry about taking our lands now. And with all the people dead, they no longer have as many to feed, so... War is a distant memory at this point. Furthermore, it was the warmonger Vox who kept pushing for conflict in his country, and he is now in his grave. The king of Erigrith will understand. This is not the time to fight amongst ourselves. Your majesty. Let us appeal to Erigrith for their assistance. I shall prepare a personal letter and send a messenger immediately. Can I count on your help? Well... Your majesty. No, it's not really help from you. It's, it's more like a duty and a service. Don't you think he'll trust me more? I don't think a person from Aquaria could explain the whole picture anyway. That may be so, but you realize this is dangerous? Yeah, so? A little danger doesn't worry me. Very well. You shall accompany her. Leave it to us. Elena. You are to hurry and prepare the Thunder Arrow. Yes, Your Majesty. Right away. Mirage, 
Can you help her get the weapon ready? Shouldn't we call it the lightning arrow? I mean, Roger. it doesn't. Never mind. Never mind. We are counting on all of you. Your Majesty, what should I do? Well, you can feel free to go cry somewhere, you big pussy. The two of you should wait until she returns. I shall have a task for you then. What? Yes, you mean the game isn't going to make me run all the way back to Aeroglyph? I don't believe that for an instant. Huh? Yes, Smurfette? Could we talk outside? Um, sure, okay. She better not want to elope or anything like that. Shut up! Fucking birds, I hate you! It's so peaceful. Mm -hmm. Except for those goddamn birds. So, don't you have something you want to ask me about? Well, does the carpet match the drapes? I mean, I'm just curious. Don't slap me. You asked. I just... I want to know. If not, that's fine. Say, you've been playing Space Station 13, haven't you? Yes. Did you become aware of your power? It's right when I stubbed my toe. Why do you ask? It vaporized an entire research sector. Well, I mean, I'm curious. I found out because everyone told me. So I was wondering how you figured it out. All right. I'll tell you. It was seven years ago. I was 12 years old living with my parents on Federation Station 17. My father was a Federation officer, and my mother was a research scientist working on the station. Since both of my parents worked, I never got to spend much time with them. But I was happy. That is, until the war with the Aldeans took all that away. I'm sorry, honey, but we have no choice. Now listen to me. This place isn't safe. We've already broadcast the evacuation announcement for all civilians. But... Daddy, why do you have to stay? I've got a job to do here, Maria. Because if I don't Please die, you your powers will never manifest. Come along, and don't worry about Daddy. He'll take care of those Aldeans, and then meet up with us on Eric. But they're just scientists. Really? They're not warriors. Why are they staying behind for the slaughter? I promise. Another fucking promise. Don't make promises. You really promise? Really and truly? And they just don't work in a story when you know they're not going to be kept. I do. Promises only work when you know they can be kept. And you pinky swore, you are a horrible father. I don't know, maybe that's probably maybe what you should do, but game wise, Just story wise. Good care of her. No. I will, dear. Enjoy the bombard and enjoy the planetary bombardment whenever it arrives. It'll be great fireworks, I'm sure. The Radish Lounge. So, is there a save point somewhere around here? It's gonna take forever to encode this video. There we go. Okay. So, whenever we come back, uh, we will explore the Radish here. And try to find out what happened to her parents. 
Is it just her dad who died? He's the only one who made a promise. We'll find out next time.